Welcome to Toyota's Bodine Aluminum Facility in Jackson, Tennessee. Here in Jackson, we manufacture aluminum die-cast components for all of Toyota's North America engine and transmission production. We manufacture V6 engine blocks, V8 engine blocks, four-cylinder blocks, and automatic transmission cases. With over 300 team members and 16 die-cast machines, Bodine Jackson is an integral part of Toyota in North America. With the engine block being the heart of every Toyota automobile, we like to say that Toyota's North America vehicle production starts right here in Jackson. Our facility runs three different shifts five days a week around the clock to meet the demand. All of our production staff are grouped into teams. At the beginning of each shift, the team comes together to review safety, quality, and production status. This kind of communication and interactivity is a vital part of our production process. At Bodine, we know that a happy, healthy team member is a good team member. So to help ensure safety and good health, teams do stretching exercises before their work begins. The aluminum we use comes primarily from old aluminum cans, siding, tire rims, and other recycled aluminum products, including scrap from our own production process. That makes recycling very important to us here at Bodine. Most Incorporated, one of our manufacturing partners, is located adjacent to our facility. Their process begins with taking recycled aluminum and crushing it to separate foreign materials from the aluminum. Once it has been separated, the good aluminum is mixed with silicon and other raw materials to create the specific alloy needed for our engine blocks. These materials are all melted together in a large furnace. The molten metal then flows from the furnace and is poured into large ladles. The metal in the ladles are then treated using argon gas to remove air and impurities. After this critical quality process, most delivers the molten aluminum to each one of our die cast machines holding furnaces. The liquid metal is poured into these furnaces to be kept hot at 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. While this is happening, a team member loads cast iron liners onto a power cart, which takes them to the die cast machine. All of our liners are provided by TFT, a company right here in Tennessee. Once the liners arrive, a robot will place them inside of the die. The blocks we produce are made of aluminum to reduce vehicle weight. But these liners must be iron to withstand the intense heat created by the internal combustion engine. The machine's ladle dips into the molten metal, then pours its contents into an injection sleeve. The aluminum is then pushed through the sleeve and into a mold, or what we call a die. The shape of the mold, or die, forms the molten metal around the liners and into the desired shape of the engine block. Here at Bodine, we use two different types of dies to make our engine blocks, the general die and unique die. The general die provides the hydraulic power and electrical signals needed to control the unique die. The unique die fits inside the general die and provides the shape that will mold the block. This design allows for quick changeovers, shortens downtime, and helps maintain our productivity. After the aluminum has solidified, a robot removes the block from the die. Here is a simple animation of the process. A spray robot applies a release agent to the unique die surface. The die cast machine closes and locks under very high pressure. Then the ladle delivers molten aluminum to the sleeve. This aluminum is injected into the die where it solidifies. After it is solid, the machine opens and another robot removes the casting from the die. After it is removed, the block is extremely hot, so it is dipped in a cold water bath to cool it off. This will allow us to handle it during the rest of the manufacturing process. The aluminum flowing through the die creates excess material on the block's edges that we don't need. We call the excess metal runners. 
an automated robot moves the block to a pre-press machine where this excess is removed. The block is then taken to a marking unit where it is given an identification number and QR code. This allows us to track any problems quickly and precisely, ensuring the highest level of quality and traceability. The block is then placed on a conveyor and travels out of the diecast machine. It will now go through a series of metal removal processes and inspections to ensure product quality. The first step is the gate cut. Here, what we call the gate and the biscuit are removed. This is just more excess material left over from the die casting process. From there, the block is conveyed to the super finished cell. Inside the super finished cell, the block's rough edges are machined through a deburring process. Next comes the inspection. Each block is placed into an inspection jig, which allows the team member to conduct a thorough examination. Every block must meet Toyota's stringent quality standards. Any piece not up to standard is removed from the process and quarantined. The part in question is then carefully examined to determine exactly where, when, and why the problem occurred. After passing inspection, the block is transferred by power cart to a heat treat oven. Heat treating the block relieves stress introduced during the high pressure casting process. It will stay in the oven for one to two hours. Once the heat treatment is complete, a loading robot places the block onto a shipping pallet. After the pallet is fully loaded, a team member moves it to our finished goods area. A shipping team member will then load the pallet into a truck, which will take it to one of Toyota's engine assembly plants in Kentucky, West Virginia, or Alabama. Every day, over 20 full-size trailers are loaded and shipped out of the Bodine facility in Jackson. That's how the engine blocks of a lot of the vehicles you see every day on the road are manufactured, and they're made right here in Jackson. We also make transmission cases, and that follows the same process. Of course, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes to make all that happen. From our skilled team members to our office staff, we are all here to support our production team members in continually producing the highest quality products. We appreciate you taking the time to find out a little bit about us. At Toyota's Bodine Aluminum Facility in Jackson, we are proud to be a part of this community and to help build some of the finest automobiles in the world.